I'm Brandon Savage. I'm the VP of Customer Experience and Trust at Upwork. My name is Jackie Holowati. I'm the Vice President of Employee and Guest Experience with Climate Pledge Arena and the Seattle Kraken of the NHL. My name is Sasha Antonenko. I am the Director of End User Support, Community and Knowledge Teams at D2L. I'm Jared Lohman, Vice President of Customer Experience at Kajabi. Fourth has been a great partner with us. Uh, one of the things that really stands out to me is the way Forethought understands the problems that we face. In the space that we're in, we are a very live and in-person uh, business. We do concerts, we do sporting events. So you don't always think of an AI technology or think of technology in the same space, but we still have tens of thousands of people coming through in one night, millions coming through in a few months, and how do we actually communicate with those individuals in a space that actually is relevant to them, gives them the right information. So we needed to find a solution that actually allowed us to have those conversations and have them as quick as possible and as efficiently as possible, and we couldn't do that by staffing up 500 new bodies. So the only way to really do it was to ta dive into technology. But because that human component, that human touch was so important to our business and we believe so wholeheartedly in that personalization of it, we needed something that was much more AI friendly and, and forward thinking. With Forethought, one of the key advantages, I think, uh, early on is that we can directly influence the types of knowledge that we produce for our customers. So for example, if we see that they're asking questions about a certain topic and we have not adequately addressed that in our knowledge base, then we can do just that. Or we can better inform our agents to help pick up those support issues once they're passed on to a live agent. So we have that real-time uh, you know, data that is allowing us to build upon what we already have and continuously improve. We exist to collect, to understand, to help customers, but also to take their feedback and put it back into the product, to put it back into our processes so that that process continues to improve, so the experience continues to improve. And I think Forethought is a perfect example of that in practice. We have a uh, an all-in-one solution is what we describe it as. So we have multiple components. We have um, essentially four pieces of software in one. And because of that, the types of questions that we get and the complexities associated with these um, questions are very vast, very diverse. We needed something that was going to be able to understand the nuances of all of the dynamic questions that we get. Because we're such a dynamic and ever-changing business, we can go from a Kendrick Lamar show to a Zach Brown Brown show to a Seattle Kraken game to Bruce Springsteen. Different demographics, different audiences, different answers to the questions, different types of questions on a daily basis and switching from day to day. So we needed something that could be as fast and as dynamic as the questions we were getting. We knew that there was an answer out there somewhere. We didn't have the solution. Nobody else on the market had the solution and forethought was, hey, we will build it with you if you just give us a chance. So it was a perfect opportunity to partner. You know, we piloted the product for a little bit first just to really make sure that they were going to be able to build it for us the way that we needed it. Um, and within a matter of a year, we expanded significantly. I think to summarize my experience with Forethought in a few words, I would probably say learning and growth. We are at the beginning of our AI journey. Uh, they are much more advanced in that capability uh, than, than we are, but we also know our business better. I think Forethought is one of the most forward-thinking uh, companies in this space already, but why not take it another step further?